Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to go through the settings on the Galaxy S4. Now there's two ways to get to the setting uh, from the home screen um, and from any other screen. So the way you get to it from the home screen is simply by pushing the hidden menu button right here and then just hit the settings button right there. Now, no matter what app you're on though, if you ever want to get to settings, you just swipe down from the top and then you hit that gear right there, which is your settings. So settings on the S4 is a lot nicer than previous uh, Samsung devices. They broke it down into four separate parts, which make it very easy. So um, let's go over them now. So first of all, you have connections. Connections is very easy. It's the way you connect to everything. So right from the front page, you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Airplane Mode, Data Usage, NFC, and S-Beam. Now, of course, if you scroll up, you can go through the more less likely uh, ones to use, such as nearby devices that allows you to connect to different computers and phones via uh, different ways through Bluetooth and such, um, and DLNA. And uh, screen mirroring, which is used with the All Share adapter, that allows you to wirelessly connect it to a TV, and keys via Wi-Fi, which allows you to update files through your computer. We also have more settings. In more settings, we can actually go right to it and then see this is uh, for your mobile networks, uh, tethering, and VPN for businesses. So these are your different types of uh, connections and they're a bit more advanced. Now on some of these, you have a second menu option. So such as Wi-Fi, if I go to Wi-Fi, I have a second part right here, which is Wi-Fi Direct. So that is how I can transfer files between devices, uh, which I'll go over in a separate video. But that's how you can transfer over big video files in mere minutes. So really nice way to go through. Um, so just a couple of the basics on the settings. And of course, you can just flip any on and off. Um, and they're very uh, simple and easy to use. Now, if we go into My Device, this is where all of your uh, changes can happen to your particular device. So let me zoom in a little bit so you have a little bit better view for it. And uh, we can go through the lock screen. So on the lock screen, we can do the different type of locks right here. So face and lock, face and voice, pattern, pin, and password, or simply swipe. Uh, you can also have none if you just want to, as soon as you push the power button, it open up on your home page. So that's another option. Uh, auto unlock zone, of course I've done a video on that and that's a really nice feature that allows you that if you're say at home, you don't have to unlock your phone and enter in your pin in that particular area, which is a really nice uh, feature of course. So when you're home, you don't have to unlock it. Um, you also have lock screen widgets, uh, which is on Android 4.2 um, and it kind of, you can personalize it from here. So you can uh, basically choose if you want it to be your favorite apps or your uh, or your camera on the on the right side, and you can personalize your clock. So for me, I have uh, my personal message, uh, the Android guy, of course, right there at the top. And then you can also do unlocked effect and different shortcuts. So if you hit the shortcuts button, you can choose what shortcuts you use. Then you also have the uh, lighting or ripple effect and help text if you're a first time user and being able to wake up your phone using your voice. You can set up the voice command yourself, but by default it is Hi Galaxy. You also have the display right over here. So you can do a couple different things. From here you can choose the multi uh, window. You can also choose the apps that are on your notification panel. So if I wanted say my multi view and I never use Bluetooth, I can move that up and move Bluetooth down. So kind of just customize. I'll go in more in depth on again in another video for that. On your screen modes, you can actually choose your different type of screen modes. So you can do adaptive display, dynamic, standard, professional photos for realistic uh, professional photos, and movie. So different uh, ways to do it. Um, you also have the brightness setting. And this where you can do auto brightness, of course, or just choose your own brightness. The timeout portion. Daydream, which is just like a screensaver after a certain amount of time that you can put on. Uh, font style and font size, so if you've got bored of the regular font, you can change it around a little bit. 
The touchscreen duration on the bottom keys, if you want it to be five seconds, always on, or shorter time. Uh, battery percentage, which is always good to know where you're at for your battery exactly. Uh, if you do a screen capture, which is doing a swipe, um, you can actually go right into editing after that and adjust tone and adjust uh, touch sensitivity. So these are the different things you can do. Um, LED indicators are pretty self-explanatory. It'll be red uh, generally when any of these things are on. Sounds, it's where you change your ringtones, uh, different uh, effects. So for music effects, if you have a built-in one or if you download a third-party one. And kind of froze there for a second. Um, so different abilities we have there. Okay. It didn't like that I didn't pick the regular one. So you have that ability right there. You have the dial keypad tone. Um, and just some very basic stuff, nothing too fancy. On our home screen mode, this is for you easy users. You can go into easy mode, and I do have a video on that, so make sure to check that out. Uh, your different call settings, so for your call settings, this will be for your reject list, uh, your auto uh, message replies for when you want to reject a call, you can't take it right now. So you can just put like, I'm working and things like that, very basic stuff. Um, and just uh, lots of other things that you can do, just regular call settings. I have another video on that one. Uh, blocking mode, um, just so you're able to block any of the users. Um, accessories, so when you connect to Bluetooth or a headphone port, what happens? Accessibility for uh, any kind of hearing impaired or even visual impaired uh, to help you out be able to use your phone. Language and input, this is where you can uh, change your keyboards as well as your voice input. Um, and then all of the fun stuff, which are more advanced and I definitely have videos on, which are the motions and gestures, smart screen, air view, and voice controls. To the right over here, we have accounts. These are all your accounts and the new ones that you can add. So if you hit add account, you can add any of these types as well as you download more apps, you can add more accounts. And then we have the more section. More is generally, oh, sorry, actually, before I get to more, you have the Samsung Cloud service as well as the backup and reset. This is where you make sure that everything is backed up so all of your stuff will be automatically backed up if you reset your phone or if you get a new phone. And under the more section, we have stuff that people don't use that often. So these three are definitely what most people are going to use. And then for the more section, stuff that people don't use as often, such as Location services, which deals with your GPS and Wi-Fi. Um, security features that you can uh, do on your phone um, to make it sure it's secure. App manager to see how many apps are running in the background. Battery usage to see what is draining your battery. For me, it's generally my screen only. Um, power saving mode, storage, data. Most of you won't have this. Developer options and then about device which is where you always do your software updates. All right, so that was a basic walkthrough on the Galaxy S4 settings. If you have any questions about any of these, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.